So let's be real. There are a lot of videos about how to get more views on YouTube. Some good, some bad, some terrible and outdated. So in this video, I just wanna share four proven best practices to help you get more views on YouTube this year, coming up. Hey, what's up? Sean here with Think Media, bringing you the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video. And on this channel, we do a lot of tech and camera gear reviews, as well as tips and strategy videos just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So recently here on Think Media, we did a one hour deep dive YouTube masterclass. And during that training, there was a part where I taught on how to get more views on YouTube this year, focusing on some of the basics and fundamentals and YouTube best practices. And while you may have heard of some of these strategies before, I'm reminded of the quote from Michael Jordan, one of the greatest athletes of all time, when he said, get the fundamentals down and the level of everything you do will rise. So I really think to crush it on YouTube this year, it's important that we maybe relook at some of the basic best practices around YouTube and really ask ourselves, have we mastered them? Have we really perfected them? Or can we still grow in these areas? And I think you'll appreciate some of the fresh insights that are also a part of this training. So let's jump into the content right now and I'll see you right after the video. So now let's talk about the new rules for YouTube success this year and some of the strategies that I'm focusing on. So here's a question, rhetorical. What does YouTube value most? What does YouTube value most? If we wanna crush it on YouTube, it's probably important to know what YouTube values most so that we can play by their, their rules so that we can win on the platform. So what does YouTube value most? Well, when I talk to most people, a lot of times they think it's maybe subscribers, like, oh, how many subscribers do you have? Or more than that, a lot of times they think it's views. Like, if I can get a lot of views, YouTube will reward me. But it's been known for some time now that on YouTube, minutes actually matter most. So when you go into your analytics of your YouTube channel, you'll see the same stack, right? And you'll see that there's a reason minutes is at the top of the list. What YouTube realized a couple years ago was that, well, views are important, but you can game views. If you did a tricky clickbait thumbnail and title, and you got people to click on your video, and a lot of people to do that, you could get a lot of views, but if people only watch for one second, that's actually not connection. In fact, that's almost meaningless. If someone only watches for one or 10 seconds, that is meaningless. That's not a metric you care. There was no connection. There's no depth there. So I started thinking, well, minutes though is like 10x more powerful than a view because a view is like whatever. But if somebody watches an entire minute, think about that. A stranger doesn't know you. And in our busy lives, they watch a whole minute of your content. It's a big deal. So it's really important to know the new rules on YouTube is that minutes matter most on YouTube. So the first strategy I wanna talk about is, well, how do you really increase your watch time? So write this down, thumbnail, title, hook, content. Thumbnail, title, hook, content. I think it's important to really think through and think that people never go from not watching your videos to like finishing your video and subscribing. That might happen, but there's so many things that need to happen in between and that we should remember about doing the best practices at every stage along the way. So what I mean is, is that, um, if, you know, before anyone ever watches your video, they have to read your title. And usually before they read your title, they have to look at your thumbnail. Now you might be like, well, Sean, these are some of the basics, of course. I mean, be consistent, do your thumbnails, whatever. But let me ask you, like, are you doing them well? And are you doing them at a mastery level? Like, can you level up your thumbnails, your titles this year? I think you can. And I think you need to, because even though this might even be common sense for those of us that have been on YouTube for a while, it's not necessarily common practice. Like, are you executing at a 10-10 level? If not, I really want you to work on it this year. And so keep in mind, <coughs> excuse me, this, um, this thumbnail, one of the goals here is to um, kind of be enticing. Write this down. How can you make your thumbnails provocative to kind of capture attention? So wait a minute, a 400 millimeter pocket camera so for any photographer that's outrageous normally this lens is what 40 400 millimeters is but canon released this 400 millimeter concept camera that fits in my hand so so i wanted to think how can i make the most attention grabbing thumbnail possible and then knowing though that like it starts with the thumbnail but one mistake i see people make 
They make their thumbnail even say the same words as their title. You don't wanna to put too many words in your title. We're putting less and less and less words. Most of the time trying to put two, probably at the most four, but notice the title is much longer and it builds it out more. A 400 millimeter Canon camera lens that fits in your pocket, question mark, using the hashtag. This was around a tech show that we did um, recently. So people are gonna look at your thumbnail first, but then you need a great title, master that skill, but then you need the hook. Just because someone clicks, they're not gonna finish your video, study your analytics. You want to take the first five to 10 seconds to, and, and, and sometimes I take maybe 20 minutes to actually think about, write, script the first five to 10 seconds of my videos because it matters that much. Again, if you wanna get watch time and if minutes matter most, you wanna master this stuff, right? And so you want to craft the first five to 10 seconds of your video to tease and create interest for people to watch the whole video and then think about how can I make the content itself engaging? How can I maybe make it half short and twice strong? Is there dead spots? Is there spots that um, could, people could lose attention? Is there just spots that are, you know, moments people would click away? And a power tip here is to go into your analytics later and study the audience retention uh, of uh, your videos, but then look at where people drop off and then be like, oh, that makes sense. And um, like one of the things we realized was that actually what we're doing right now, like on a webinar, when I do this, if I do this in a YouTube video and you don't see my face anymore, I can see in my analytics of that audience retention that that's actually is where people drop off. So one of the things that we try to do is on, on YouTube videos that aren't like a master class like this, we try to actually make a slide like 80% of the screen and keep me on the screen like 20% to keep the eye contact going. The only reason I learned that is because I studied how is my content performing and how can I improve my content to get more watch time. You got to do that this year because minutes matter most. All right, so I hope that you found that training helpful. And again, even though maybe some of those tips were common sense, that doesn't mean that they are a common practice, right? And I think that all of us could do better at getting back and mastering the fundamentals. You know, I love the quote from legendary business coach Jim Rohn when he said, success is neither magical nor mysterious. It's the natural consequence of consistently applying the basic fundamentals. And I think we can all learn from that when it comes to YouTube. Have you forgotten a little bit about just doing the best practices and the fundamentals of success on YouTube. And I really believe that if we focus on those this year, you and I can get big results. And again, that training was actually a part of a larger YouTube masterclass, a one hour training that's all about how to grow your audience and income on YouTube this year. So if you wanna check out the full training, you can go to tubeinfluence.com and we'll also put a link to it in the YouTube description below. Question of the day, how are you doing on your thumbnail, title, hook, content game? I'd love to hear from you in the comments section below. And remember, some of the best tips and feedback come from you, the Think Media community. So definitely connect with everybody in the comments section. So thanks for checking out this video. Subscribe for more videos just like this. And if you wanna check out that free one hour YouTube masterclass, just click or tap the screen right there. For another video from Think Media, just click or tap the screen right there. Until next time, Think Media is bringing you the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video. Keep crushing it and we will talk soon.